going to look at coronary circulation. The first branches off the aorta are the right coronary artery and the left coronary artery. The origin of the left coronary artery, though, is hidden behind the pulmonary trunk. You can see it emerging right here. So on this model, just this little short stretch of artery is the left coronary artery. At this point, it branches into the right interventricular artery and then into the circumflex artery. Circumflex artery is located in the coronary sulcus and the anterior interventricular artery is located in the interventricular sulcus on the anterior. The right coronary artery comes into the coronary sulcus on the right side and gives off several branches, the largest of which is called the marginal branch. It continues posteriorly and branches into the posterior interventricular artery. We're going to look at the major veins of the heart now. Now remember that the veins are draining deoxygenated blood. So as I go through this, imagine the blood flowing up because the blood has got to eventually reach the coronary sinus. On the anterior of the heart, running right alongside the anterior interventricular artery is the great cardiac vein. Then, coming around on the right side, we're going to find the anterior cardiac vein. Now remember, the blood is flowing up. Coming around to the posterior in the posterior interventricular sulcus, we're going to find the middle cardiac vein. Turning a little bit more, still posterior, this is the posterior cardiac vein. Blood from all these sources flows toward this point. This is the location of the coronary sinus. The coronary sinus is essentially an opening in this vein on the other side of the model. It opens into the right atrium.